we did manage to make our way to Bufalsuk Dam. Seb and I are both learning roads together, so we temporarily lost a road, but it's, it's all good because we arrived where we were supposed to. So we are now at Bufalsuk Dam and they keep popping up and down, but we can count four different hippos that are in here having a bit of a very nice afternoon. I reckon if I were a hippo, this is probably what I would be doing. It's very nice and peaceful around here. You can hear the doves in the distance. The hippos every now and again, you know, pop up and do their, their funny noises. Very nice afternoon. Whoop. There's a little bird flying around. Hello. It's always quite funny when the hippos just decide to stare at us. I mean, just the way their head has been designed, that they can be very sneaky and just, you know, pop up, see what's happening, hear what's happening, but at the same time pretend that they're not interested. Or in this case, just barely put your head above the water <laughs> and just have a nice sleep. This is quite funny. Oh, hello. Are you sleepy? Look at those eyes. I'm sure, look, he's closed them again. I don't think he's awake yet. <laughs> what is quite interesting is now that we can see him from here, um, normally when we see hippos out in the distance or outside of the water, you don't get to appreciate or see all the little tufts of hair that are just on its ears. Can you guys see them all around? It's quite funny that, that we see them there because normally animals have hair around very sensitive areas to protect them from the dust, the water and other little things coming inside. So clearly um, the ears and the eyes are a very sensitive area. I love it when they flick their ears like that. <laughs> And it's a good way of protecting them, just having them that extra bit of hair, especially when they come out, just to protect this, their hearing. Rishi, you'd like to know how hippos come out of the water, if I'm not mistaken? Well, they just pretty much walk out wherever it is that's suitable for them. You can see now the beauty of the dam and just how you know it's not that steep so if you were to you could just very easily as if we were to jump into the water you can just come out of the water pretty normally they do it at, at ease so they won't come out running unless they feel threatened for whatever reason and then they'll start grazing all around this area we've got more sleepy hippos around here Harry, you'd like to know if that means that hippos sleep in the water. Well, yes. I mean, we are looking at a very good example right now. They're closing their eyes, not only because the sun is probably not in their favor, but because they're quite sleepy. That is the wonderful thing about hippos and the many adaptations that they've got for this particularly interesting lifestyle that they've got. So they live in the water and they do all sorts of things in the water and sleeping is one of them. A lot of the times, even they... They just do it by instinct. They don't even have to wake up to come up and grab some air. Sometimes you'll just see the nose, ah, like that one's doing. Just putting up the nose up, just grabbing a bit of air and then they'll go back down. So I think these two are having actually a very good nap. Sometimes they'll do it like this with their eyes just above the water, probably doing it now because we are around. So they just want to, you know, keep an eye on us, make sure that we don't try to have a swim with them or anything else. But if not, they're very able just to sleep underwater. And they can normally hold their breath about maybe eight to ten minutes. So if it's a very, very big hippo, the youngsters are obviously just a little bit less. So they'll, you know, put their nose up, get some air, go back down, because there is no safer place for them to sleep than the middle of the water. I mean, who is actually going to try and come for them? Oh, pretty much no one. I think even big crocodiles will stay away from very big hippos. It's not too bad. Shelley, uh, that is a very good question, yes. Most uh, books or scientists that you'll come across and talk to will consider hippos as nocturnal animals, mostly because they come out of the water during uh, the night and that's the time where they start uh, feeding and they start grazing. This is partly also because of their interesting skin that they've got. So it's a skin that it's obviously used to or designed to be in the water during most of the day. But the problem is for them, you know, that's a funny sneeze. When they uh, come out of the water, they dehydrate quite quickly or they can get dehydrated quite quickly. So it's better for them to come out and start feeding, especially in winter when the food is not available as it is everywhere and they have to go much further away to get some food 
to do it during the night because then as you can imagine then they can walk around and not get sunburnt or not get dehydrated and can be out of the water for longer without that posing a danger for themselves and it's it's not rare a lot of lodges especially if they're close to the rivers you'll see the hippos walking during the night Omi and Opie, that sounds like my grandparents, funny enough. You'd like to know if uh, the hippos will share the water with other animals. Um, well, yes and no. So you see they, they, they're sharing it with other hippos, but there's a bit of a separation. We've got three on the one side and then one on the other side. And uh, if an elephant were to come around, likely, you know, the big males will start opening its mouth and just doing a bit of a display and the elephants will splay their ears and so on. So I don't think they're always too happy to share their resources. If there were a crocodile around here, they would pretty much just leave it on the side. There are lots of birds and terrapins around here. But what I think they would not be happy at all to see is another hippo coming here. Another hippo that doesn't belong to this particular pod would not be welcomed in. Um, as the winter or as winter starts drying everything up and all the pans and, and the dams start emptying a bit then that's probably when we're going to start seeing a bit more aggression between the animals over the water just because well water means life for a lot of these animals particularly for the hippos so you can imagine they're not going to be too happy to share it with pretty much anything but for the time being they seem quite content. There are quite a few birds on the shore. There is a terrapin, maybe even there's a sneaky small crocodile around that we haven't seen. So for now, it's still all very civilized. <laughs> <laughs> 